to transition now to our second high school. Um, and we have on the line with us from La Costa Canyon, Jamie Garman. Good morning, everyone. And um, I'm here on behalf of Principal Reno Medina um, to speak about Mobina Riazi, which it is my pleasure to be here. Um, when we were discussing the Rising Star um, nominations, it wasn't a matter of whether or not Mobina was going to be nominated. It was a matter of which month would we be nominating her. Um, it, Danielle Martinez is her counselor who's here today to speak on her, her behalf. It was an enthusiastic nomination that Mobina definitely is a rising star and deserves this nomination. Um, speaking about Mobina academics, um, her transcript is intimidating. Um, it, you know, a GPA way higher than um, I ever imagined uh, students could get. Um, in the rigorous of class loads, uh, not only here, but taking summer school and classes off campus. Um, she is in the highest level IB AP honors classes and excels at it. Um, she is one of our, um, this is our second graduating class um, of diploma candidates this year for our International Baccalaureate program. If you know anything about the program, it's a rigorous program and being only in our third year of implementation, uh, Mobina has to be very, very brave in order to uh, go through this program and the hiccups and things that come along with a new program in addition to you know, our distance learning um, challenges. So um, you know, she, she just excels academically, but also when it comes to her presence, um, she is a speech and debate queen. Um, she's team captain. She also uh, mentors our younger speech and debate um, students on the team. I can't tell you how many uh, awards that she has won through speech and debate, um, how many competitions. Um, it's you know, she's like the face of our speech and debate team. So it's just amazing. And you'll hear uh, when she speaks how well spoken she is and how well she represents LCC. Um, you know, someday, um, as we joke kind of as uh, educators, there's just those students that you joke about that will be your boss someday. Mobina is one of those. She will be our boss. Um, and I will be happy and thankful to, to work for her because she is just such a, a amazing young woman. Um, as for her future plans, I don't want to give away, but she has some amazing post-secondary, um, you know, options in front of her uh, as she was accepted for early action. So I'll let her share a little bit about that. Um, but when it comes down to Mobina, she's, she is definitely a rising star. Uh, she is a true maverick and she represents LCC so wonderfully. And we can't be more thankful to have her part of our maverick family. And I'm gonna turn it over to Ms. Mobina. Well, I wanna start off by um, thanking everyone for being here this early. Um, thank you, Ms. Garman. I started to tear up because <laughs> it was just, everything you're saying was so sweet. And um, honestly, everything I've been able to do is a result of how much effort um, I've seen from my teachers and my counselors. Um, I went to middle school in Southern Claremont, which is like a completely different scenery than here and just coming to LCC and seeing the speech and debate team and seeing that I could do IB and having the option to take difficult classes and challenge myself was something that I was lucky to be provided. And honestly, even though IB, you're saying like there's little hiccups and um, all that stuff, it honestly doesn't account to how much support we get and how much help Miss um, Garman and Miss Martinez have been along every single step of the way for me. And I can't even begin to thank you guys for that because um, what you guys do as educators is just so valuable and so precious. And um, I really look up to you guys for that. Um, <laughs> and so she's saying, yeah, I do have some uh, good options <laughs> for secondary school. Um, I recently just got into Stanford REA and um, I'm really excited to be attending there next year. Um, as for what I'm gonna be doing, uh, I really hope to continue my speech and debate. Um, I really love uh, advocacy and performing arts, uh, just as 
ICO did. Yeah. Um, and I feel also your, uh, your points about failure, they really touched me. I, um, I couldn't relate more with what you brought up. Um, but yeah, I hope to continue my speech and debate um, at Stanford. And um, I have a club on campus, Be the Change, where we um, organize like monthly projects uh, and just do them. Uh, this month, we're uh, painting the recycling cans on campus to kind of start up recycling culture at LCC. So I'm really excited to continue that as well and uh, get my peers to just work together and get stuff done. Because <laughs> I feel like we all have the passion. We just need to work together to do it. Um, as for a challenge that I've been through, I guess the greatest challenge I've ever been through is uh, learning English. Um, I immigrated to the United States when I, with my mom <laughs> when I was um, seven years old. So um, I guess like to this day, even with Stanford and all of my speech and debate success, the, the thing I'm most proud of is like learning a whole new language at seven years old and um, assimilating like that. Yeah, I mean, I'm just glad to be here and to have all of your support and um, not much is there to be said. And um, <laughs> my mom is crying. <laughs> Can I say anything? Good morning, everyone. And I'm so glad to be here. And I, I want just to tell you she's amazing. She's amazing. And thank you for all of your support. Thank you so much. I can um, <clears throat> step in now and, and speak a little bit about Mobina. Now you have me crying. <laughs> um, I have had um, the pleasure of knowing Mobina only since her 11th grade year. As a counselor here at La Costa Canyon, I'm not only do I have my my regular you know alpha breakdown as far as um, students that I work with, but I also work specifically with the um, IB diploma candidates. And so that's how I um, became to know Mobina. And instantly uh, it's, you know that she's, she's gonna be something, she is something. Um, she's, she is literally, when I read the mission statement for Rising Star, she fits every single point to a T. There was no question um, when we're looking at nominations, it's like what you know Jamie Garman said, um, it wasn't a matter of if, but when. We, we have fabulous students on our campus and so it's okay. When's Mobina going in there? When's Mobina going in there? Um, because she's just a fabulous student, first generation college student who just never backs down from a challenge. She seeks them out. She not only takes the most challenging courses on our campus, but she looks to take classes at the college. I, and I don't just see Mobina doing things because she's trying to get into college, but because she truly embraces learning and she wants to know more, she wants to be more. And um, she's just very empowering. And, and um, when I was writing her letter of recommendation, you know, we asked students to, to send us a brag packet so we can learn more. Um, with distance learning, it has been harder, you know, but for our seniors, you know, I only took her on as a junior. So imagine how difficult that was for me to try to really get to know these students. And so when I was reading through that, I, it, it literally uh, touched me on um, how much she's done, what she's been through, what she's overcome. She is one of the most motivated and driven students that I've had the pleasure of knowing. She's a risk taker. Again, with our international baccalaureate, we are new, we are very new. So there are a lot of hiccups that come along. She could have, I would, not the easy way out because she probably would have taken all AP classes anyways, but she could have went with that path. It's what we know, it's what we've always done. Um, but Mobina is a risk taker and she wanted to try IB. She wanted to, you know, experience something new and a different way of learning. And, and she's so helpful. We had an IB um, information night the other night and we asked if students would be willing to, you know, join us to, to talk about their experience because who better to talk to about IB than the students who are living it. 
So she jumped on, she was there that evening and she talked to students and families about her experience and what it meant to her. Um, she, she always looks for opportunities and, and she, is, she mentors other students again through speech and debate. So for me, it was an easy, easy nomination um, to nominate Mobina because she is truly that rising star. So congratulations, Mobina, and your mom should be very proud. So students, I always like to come back and kind of do a little summary of what um, we heard and what I heard um, in the presentations. And <clears throat> Mobina, I am so frustrated because I lost the audio feed as just as you started to speak. I did get to hear what your principal shared about you. And then I got the very beginning of what you were sharing. And then I had technical issues and lost it. I'm so frustrated. Um, I have so much respect as a, a, a former IB student myself for all of you AP IB students who have gone through this year um, doing it virtually because I know the level of rigor that that takes. And I know you mentioned, you know, that it hasn't been that bad, but um, with the glitches, but that just shows your positive attitude. Um, and um, I, I love that your principal talked about how not or that um, Ms. Garvin talked about how not only are you the captain of speech and debate, but you're a mentor there. And then I did catch just briefly that you talked about how you want to continue your advocacy work. So that speaks volumes to you and your character. And I looked forward to watching the full video of what you got to say and what your teacher said and your your mom said because I'm super agitated that I missed that. But I do want to thank you for being here and for being who you are. So thank you.